Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to tell you about this Wi-Fi repeater system by Wavelink. Now, they did send me this product for review, but they want me to show you uh, what is it, uh, what it comes with, and uh, maybe put it to the test if I can. I'm going to try that. Now, this is, uses the Wi-Fi 6 uh, technology, which I believe is the newest technology for that. And you can also go to um, about 300 feet. Now this is designed for outdoors. Uh, it is weatherproof. You can use this um, if you have a super huge yard or backyard pool area, or if you have a business or if you have a farm or, or like I said, a business that has outdoor patio seating, you can use this type of thing to make sure your patrons have Wi-Fi if that is what you like to offer them. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside the box, put it together. Um, and I'm going to attempt to try to test it if I can uh, figure out a way to test it to show you how well it works. But let's take a look first at what's in the box and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I wanted to show you the back of the box because it has all the specifications. There is so much to this. I am not going to memorize it, um, so I'm just going to show it to you. You can pause this video if you'd like to get a more detailed information on the video or uh, go to you know the, the ad that this is uh, listed on and it's got all the same information. But you have the specifications here. It does support dual band. So if you have the 2.4 or 5 um, uh, Wi-Fi, you have that. Um, and then this is a list of all the other things that it does. The encryption your antennas uh it's the wi-fi mesh waterproofing you know weatherproofing and so forth what's in the box i'm going to show you all that stuff anyways and then operation modes now there's several ways you can make this thing work you can um use it like a uh, the mesh extender mode so you have a mesh router and you can uh, attach it to that and then extend it out you have a repeater mode um, and then also a router mode, you can um, connect it directly to your router. But so if this is mounted outside, they do have cabling to mount it to, to route it to your router, uh, direct uh, cabling versus doing it through Wi-Fi um, and um, AP mode as well uh, on there. So it depend, depends on how you're going to use it. This thing will go so many different directions. So, OK, let's go ahead and take a look, see what's inside. So as you can see, it's really nicely packed. I had some foam on it. Um, this is your antennas. Now they said they're glass tube antennas, so you want to be careful with those. Um, but we're going to take them out of the box so, uh, and show you what they look like in more detail. Um, the router part itself, and you can see it's a it's a nice uh, plastic housing, so it's waterproofed, weatherproofed. Your antennas go up in here. You've got your uh, mounting options. There's actually a lot of ways to mount this too uh, from what I have read, but you can mount it um, there as well. And then the bottom has your connections to, uh, there's a reset and status thing and, and your, your connectors in there. And we got an accessory box and some quick start guide instructions as well as more mounting options uh, showing there. So let's open these boxes and see the details. Okay, inside the um, antenna box, you are going to get these straps. Now, these are some really good metal heavy-duty straps that you can strap this thing up to a pole with. And then the um, uh, antennas, they're actually marked 5G, 2.4G. So you have to make sure you get the right antenna to the right location. These are also marked 5G, 2.4G. So you want to make sure you get that. Um, again, you got your, your main box here. The accessories you came with a power adapter because you need to power this thing up. You do get this uh, little junction box here. So if you're going to actually do the wired in part, uh, connecting this up to a, a router. Now this one's not very big. This data a cable it's a cat 5 uh, doesn't look like it's very long so uh, this maybe have to be close to your actual router that you have inside the house or inside the business or you're going to need to get a much longer uh, cabling because this is only like three feet so there's not much going on there uh, you do get also some of this super heavy duty 3m mounting tape that you can use to stick this up to something if you have uh, a way of doing that now there's also a tool this little tool helps with this this is a waterproofing so this cabling and everything can go through here and attach to the bottom of this to this waterproofing little uh, little housing uh, and you have a little tool to help you with that and they do give you some um, wall anchors and screws if you want to mount it that way. So again, there's several ways you can mount this. And then the instructions again, uh, some mounting instructions and your ins instructions for 
all the different scenarios that you might have or need and how to connect it up to your router. Um, I'm not going to go through a lot of the details of that because it depends on how you want to set it up. Um, but that is what you get. Very simple, it looks like, to um, get this rolling. I'm going to go ahead and put this together and see if I can get it connected to my router and, uh, and possibly figure out a way to test it. Okay, I was able to put everything together and get it connected, which was really uh, actually not too hard at all. So I have the tubes in here. This is the antennas. Um, so you can see that this is quite large. It's even going off my screen here um, on there. So you want to make sure you check your sizes. Um, I did put the a little connection in here. Now this is a power over Ethernet, or PoE is what they call it. So this little cable goes into this little junction box and the junction box is where you plug the power so I have the power cable get in to a uh, in, uh, power su supply s source here off to the side and then there's an on off button you can turn it on and off and you can see the power there um, so if you do need to if you want to wire this into um, your computer or router or something like that you can you can use another one here for data all the way out uh, so there's options again for wiring you can do it so many different ways i just have this set up as a uh, repeater so what it is doing is this is connected to my wireless router i have here actually in the office and then um it's 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 broadcasting from that so it's repeating basically that wi-fi signal now i already have it hooked up and it wasn't too complicated you have to just follow step by step and get into there and i do have it let me see if i can record my screen so now i have my screen recorded to show you um i have my regular router is is the um the david house or uh, david house 5g um and then i have the extended in here the 2.4 g or the five and right now it's connected to the five which is this unit here um, as the extension and if i go to the information here you can see that it's connected my network speed it will actually show you that um, the security auto connect things like that but if you hit the manage router part of it it will actually open up a website to log into it so now i'm going to log into this and we'll show you what that's like um, once you get in okay so now that now that i'm in you can see that this actually has more information about this you can go through and check um, your uh, it's a repeater through the internet um, uptime firmware version um, your cpu usage the memories um, there's all kinds of information here if you need to uh, you have a little menu here uh, home terminal wireless this gives you some more wireless information where you can set your passwords again, uh, that kind of stuff. Advi advance, uh, mode selection, time zone, land settings, change your passwords, uh, all kinds of stuff. Backup and restore firmware. I already had the, the newest firmware, but you might want to look at it in case you need to at network settings. So you can see that there's some options. There's, there's different things. Uh, you can reboot the router you can log out of it um so lots of cool stuff there and it's got full strength again um it which is really really nice okay we'll do a little speed test so again this is um a repeater from my other wi-fi so i have a wi-fi from my office here to this and then this my phone is coming off of this i'm just going to hit the go button on the speedtest.net and we'll see now i have pretty good um internet speed here at the house at the office um and this is going to go you know again from wireless to wireless now i'm not 300 feet away from it i'm right next to it as well and this is also in the same room so it's not going to really test it out as far as your distance to it okay so there you go the download speeds 212 upload 37 not bad at all uh, with this unit it's pretty cool okay here we go i actually have this outside this is out the front yard of my house and i'm showing you my um my phone i am connected up to the uh wireless router now i'm going to uh maybe go for a walk um down the street maybe down that way and see how, what the uh service is like as i come down this direction okay there's my house way over there okay i'm testing again my speed you see how far i am a couple hundred feet away and 
still not too bad 165 download you can't see my phone's way too bright out here today in 37 7 upload so um even you know a couple hundred feet away from my house it looks like i get some really good speed still off of this repeater so there you have it a look at this uh wave link wi-fi extender it looks like it does a really good job so if you are in need of something to extend your wi-fi out to a farm backyard out in the pool or a business type location this one may be the right one for you